Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to understand basic troubleshooting of routing and switching. See, in this topology, this is my topology. Here I have one router, one switch, and the router is connected with ISP. And on ISP, I'm running one loopback 8.8.8. .8 and these users, these computers should be able to ping 8.8.8 .8 because I am running pad on router number one so that my LAN user can access internet. But problem is here you can see issue is PC1 is not able to access internet. Means PC1 is not able to ping 8.8.8.8 and all rest PCs are able to ping 8.8.8. .8. First of all, let me verify the problem. Really PC1 is not able to ping 8.8.8 .8 ping 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Yes, you can see PC1 is not able to ping 8.8.8. .8 .8. Let me ping from any other PC. Let's say from PC number 2, ping 8.8.8.8. .8 .8. And you can see PC2 is able to ping 8.8.8. .8. In the same way, rest PC, any other PC, PC3, ping 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. You can see all other PCs are able to ping 8.8.8 .8 .8 except PC number 1. So see the troubleshooting step. What will be my first step to troubleshoot this type of problem? PC5 is also able to, 4 is also able to ping 8.8.8. .8 .8. And let me show you that PC5 is also able to ping 8.8.8. .8 .8. Done. Means now only PC1 is not able to ping. Right now, guys, what I am going to do, I am going to verify the default gateway IP address on PC number 5 first. So, default gateway IP address is 192.168.10.100. Let me check the PC1 default gateway configuration on PC number 1. So, here also you can see default gateway IP address is 192.168.10.100. That means default gateway configuration is correct. IP address configuration is correct. IP address of PC1 is 192.168.10.1. IP address of PC2 is 192.168.10.2. On PC5 IP address is 192.168.10.5. Right. So IP configuration on PC is fine. Let me ping the gateway IP address. Let me check that I am able to ping the gateway IP address or not. Ping 192.168.10.100. And you can see PC1 is not able to ping their default gateway as well. Okay. Now my troubleshooting step will be different. Now I am not going to check the configuration of router 1 now. Because my PC is not able to ping the gateway IP address. So exactly we don't have any problem on router. We have some problem on maybe switch or on the PC but on PC also we are able to see the IP configuration is right. Now I am going to do one thing. I am going to ping PC2 from PC1. Ping PC2 any other PC 192.168.10. Let's say 2. So see PC1 is not able to ping PC2 also. That means we don't have connectivity between PC1 and router to the default gateway. There is no connectivity between PC1 and PC2. So guys, see, if this PC is not able to ping their default gateway or not able to ping their other LAN user, that means definitely problem is here. Maybe on switch, port E0 slash 1 and or maybe that this cable is not working fine. The cable we are using between switch and BP. PC1 is not working fine but here we are using uh, you are we are performing lab in EVNG so my cable is working fine so directly I am going to check the configuration of this port here I am going to check the configuration of E0 slash 1 what is the running configuration on this interface so let me start troubleshooting from the switch okay first of all we will identify the problem we will diagnose the problem and then we will troubleshoot it so on switch number one here I'm going to say so run interface Ethernet 0 by 1. Let me check the running configuration of this interface. Running configuration of this interface is guys running configuration of this port is Ethernet 0 slash 1. 
स्विच पोर्ट मोड एक्सेस ओके डेफिनेटली दिस पोर्ट इज एक्सेस पोर्ट आफ्टर दैट स्विच पोर्ट पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी मैक एड्रेस दिस वन एंड स्विच पोर्ट पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी सो पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी इज इनेबल ऑन दिस स्विच मे बी पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी इज इनेबल ऑन ऑल पोर्ट्स ऑफ दिस स्विच ऑल ऑन 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 ऑल एक्सेस पोर्ट बिकॉज एज यू नो वी कैन नोट कन्फिगर पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी ऑन ट्रंक पोर्ट और ऑन द इथर इथर चैनल पोर्ट or the port analyzer so we can enable port security on access port so maybe we have configure port security on all other port let me check on other port as well eth so run interface ethernet 0 by 2 i am going to check the ports configuration of this port it is 0 by 2 here also switch port mode access port security maximum 5 and uh, switch port violation protected switch port स्विच पोर्ट पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी स्विच पोर्ट पोर्ट सिर्फ मैक एड्रेस एस टी की स्विच पोर्ट पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी मैक एड्रेस एस टी की दिस वन आफ्टर दैट स्विच पोर्ट पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी सो दिस इज कॉन्फिगेशन ऑफ अदर इंटरफेस ओके ऑन ई टी एच जीरो स्लैश वन यू हैव सीन इथरनेट जीरो स्लैश वन वी हैव कन्फिगर द पोर्ट सिक्योरिटी एंड बाइंड दिस मैक एड्रेस विद दिस इंटरफेस okay let me check is this mac address of pc1 so let me take you to pc1 guys here i am going to check the mac address of this pc so ip and mac address of pc1 is 0050 no not this one this is different mac address but no problem we can bundle uh, we can bundle multiple mac address on a single port so maybe this is a mac address of any other device that are allowed on Zero slash one interface. Okay. After that, okay. So configuration of this interface is looking fine. We don't have any problem here. Maybe we we need to configure the violation or other things on this port also. But why PC one is not able to ping? This is the not this is not the reason because of that PC one cannot ping eight dot eight dot eight. So let me check the status of this interface. I'm going to check the inter status of it is zero by. one so let me run the command so interface status eth 0 by 1 sorry status and then interface okay inter so status okay and you can see eth 0 by 1 this port is in error disable this port is in error disable okay this is the reason This is the reason why PC one is not able to ping eight dot eight dot eight because this port is in error disable. Now we need to find that why this port is in error disable mode. So we will run command very simple. So interface status and then error disable to identify that why this port is in error disable. Okay, to know the reason. let me run this command and here we are able to see that it is 0 by 1 status is error disable and reason is nothing but the port security violation port security violation because of port security violation we this port is in error disable first of all let me correct it here in global config mode we will run command error disable recovery and then cause after that p cause and let me put question mark over here and which cause port security so there should be one option of port security this option port security violation so p security violation okay now let me check let me max minimize it and let me check the so interface status still this port is in error disable this port is in error disable what we can do we can shut down this port and we can again run no shut command but let me do one thing let me shut down the port and let me no shut again interface it is 0 by 1 say shut down and say no shut down right and now if you will run command so interface status now you can see we don't have any error disable port here now again i am going to ping from vpc1 to 8.8.8 ping or to their default gateway let's say 100 still i am not able to ping the gateway ip address and again i think this port is in error disable or not no this port is not in error disable now 
let me do one thing let me check the connectivity ping 8.8.8.8 I'm not able to ping 8.8.8 .8 and on the switch you can see the violation switch you can see the violation guys right switch is generating violation and so interface status this port is again in error disable this port is in error disable and you can see the violation violation is port security violation security violation occur caused by the mac address and this is the mac address of pc1 on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 that means on not fast ethernet on eth 0 slash 0 ethernet 0 slash 1 that means on eth 0 slash 1 only this mac only one mac address is allowed because this mac address is not allowed over here so we are able to see one thing here so port security address by running this command we can check the address here you can see only this address this address is allowed on 0 slash 1 as you know in port security we can configure maximum command that we can uh, you, we can define that switch switch should learn how many mac address on a single port so here maximum should not be one because here we are binding one mac address and it should learn the static as well right the mac address of pc1 because of this see so mac address table switch is not learning the mac address of pc1 as well on eth 0 slash 1 we don't have any mac address so switch is not learning the mac address of pc1 this is the problem okay and if you want to check the maximum mac address allowed on eth 0 slash 1 you can run command so port security after that interface and eth 0 by one on this interface you can see this is the maximum command maximum mac addresses is one so this is the problem here we need to change it and on any other interface on 0 slash 2 let's say maximum is you can say 5 but on 0 slash 1 engineer have configured the mac address that switch can learn on eth 0 by 1 is 1 and we already bind one MAC address on this interface. What I am saying, we have already binding of one MAC address over here and only one MAC address is allowed here. So MAC address of PC1 is not allowed and that is the reason PC is not able to ping 8.8.8.8. Okay, so most of the, in the most, most of the people will do what? Most of the people will change or remove the, this MAC address address this mac address so port security address okay this mac address from this interface most of the people are thinking that we should remove this entry we should remove the binding of this mac address on this port then only pc1 will ping to a dot a dot a dot to the default gateway but no guys we don't need to do anything with this binding right directly i am going to configure the maximum mac address is more than one so let me take you to interface e0 by one and here i am going to say what here i am going to say switch port port security and maximum let's say five here i have set the maximum five and again i am going to ping from pc1 from pc1 i am going to ping 8.8.8 .8. see it's still not working Ping is still not working. Let me try again. This time we don't have any violation over here. Okay, maybe problem can be other things as well. So let me do one thing guys. Here I am going to ping the default gateway 192.168.10.100 and PC1 is not able to ping their default gateway. Okay, but here I have defined the maximum 5 let me do one thing so run interface e0 by 1 by running this command we can check the port security configuration over here okay then we need to define the violation as well and this is the mac address okay interface e0 by 1 here we have some missing command like switch port port security violation is let's say violation is shut down okay and switch port port security maximum is one and mac address sticky 
that's it we run need to run this command and let me ping again from pc1 still it is not working maybe that port is in error disable so let me check that port is in error disable or not so interface status no we don't have any port in error disable so mac address table in mac address table which is learning this mac address on 0 slash 1 interface it is not learning the mac address of pc1 so let me try once more time and now you can see pc1 is able to ping their default gateway right and switch is learning the mac address of pc1 on this interface this is the mac address of pc1 if you want to verify you can verify it by running command so ip you can see this is the mac address of vpc1 and now vpc1 can ping 8.8.8 .8 as well ping 8.8.8.8 .8 so it's working so this was a small troubleshooting of port security as you know first of all we identify the problem port was in error disable then we find the reason why port is in error disable so the reason was port security then we identify the port security configuration we had we we, we had add some command on this interface so run interface eta 0 slash 1 on this interface we had add one this command this command was missing and after that we had not this command sorry this command this is the command after that we had add this command the mac by default maximum was one so i have set it five over here and after that ping is working fine okay so this was a small troubleshooting of port security if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel guys we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye See you in next video.